Lord. Praise the Lord. Lord Jesus, I pray that this video goes out to do the work that you called it to do. Lord, that people may make changes. And Lord, we thank you for it. Lord, that they no longer leave the things the way they are. Hallelujah, Jesus. We praise you for it. You know, we need to, too much the church, the people of God, anyone, says, puts God in a box and says, he works this way, he works that way, he uh, does this. They even make a program in the services or make a, uh, things that they want done and say, Lord, here, this is what I want. Now you work in it. No, God does not work that way. God works the way he pleases, the scripture says. He, he does whatever he wants. He'll do things that you don't even think possible he can do because you put him in a box. You know, also, when you put a box, a limit God, when you limit God, you're actually putting yourself in this little box saying, you... You work this way, you're actually putting a shield over you where he can't get through and do anything with you. And vice versa, because you, you, you cannot put him in a box. You cannot handle him because he's a great big God. He created you before you even was born. He, cre he was here from the beginning of the earth. And, and he says in Isaiah 55, 8 through 9, For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Nor are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. We decide what God wants to do or what he can do. But it's not that way. God decides, he says, his thoughts, his ways are not the way we think. We're human. He's a spiritual being. He does say he is the creator. He is the God of the universe. We're only his creation. We cannot tell God what to do. We only can. We limit him. We put uh, restrictions on what he will do for us because, he, oh, no, he don't work this way. He don't work that way. But, yes, he does work in many ways that you don't think possible. And if you read my book, God can and God will. You're going to find out some things he works that you never thought he would do it. But God is a way maker. And he does things so that's beyond our comprehension. He will do things for you greater than you ever thought possible. Greater than you ever wanted to have. Greater than you ever thought he would do. He will do because he just loves you. He says, my thoughts are not your thoughts. I'll do things the way I want to do things. And the other avenue that I want to speak about, and I may get critical people that are critical against this, but it's the truth. You read your Bible. God chooses to bless people, but he also chooses to destroy people. He chooses to bring disasters. He chooses to do something that is uh, against our way of thinking. Why? Because of sin and disobedience. Because he can't allow it. He did it to many times to the Israelites. He destroyed 500 people with a ball of fire because they were disobedient and, and uh coming up against the leadership. And then he spread a plague throughout the people and 4,000 people got, over 4,000 people got killed from a plague until Aaron stopped it through his, the prayers and through the incense walking through the people. Why? Because of rebellion and sin. Many, and the, you, you can read the word. It says he will punish sin. You may not think he will, but he eventually, if you're sinning, if you're not doing right, if you're not being obedient to the word, he will punish you. You may, your punishment, maybe you will realize you, you thought you were going to heaven and you're not even getting there. He will leave you behind. So you need to realize that God is not a limit 
God. He's a un limitless God. He'll do whatever he wants, whenever he wants, and whatever he wants. Because he will do what's best for us because he loves us. He will do some great and marvelous things along with those disasters. He will do some great and marvelous. Think about even in certain disasters when he allows those things to happen. Think of the miracles of things that's ha come through because of somebody that loves Jesus. God is a merciful God. And he will do what he wants to do to save the soul, to save people's hearts. He wants as many to go to heaven as he can. And, and that it, you will, but he gives us our free will. We don't want to limit God. We don't want to say you work this way and this certain way. Let's just work according, to, flow according to his path and go according to his plan. And not our own plan. Many times the church does things according to their own plan. And where does where is that going to get them? That's, souls aren't being saved. Miracles aren't being healed. God's not even in the presence of many churches because they have their own plan. And they say, this is the way God works. Uh-uh. God works when he wants to. And he will work in marvelous ways in churches that allow him to have his way. That allow him to be what it, who he is. The God of the universe, the creator, the healer, the miracle worker, the, the deliverer, the salvation one, brings salvation. He'll, if you allow him to do whatever he's going to do, you'll see things happen. You'll see things change if it's in your church or see things here and there. But you'll see the things of God move. You'll see God do because he likes to be set free to do whatever he wants to do because when he's set free in a service or in your lives oh you'll say wow he is so good he is so good he will do what he wants to do so don't put the limits on god don't put yourself in a box because if you put yourself in a box you're not going to get very far you can go only as far as that box allowed you to go until you open up that box. Just like in a home, you only got so much space to walk and go until you open that door to go out to the unlimited space of creation. Same with God. Don't limit Him. Don't put yourself in a box and plan Him out of your life and plan Him out of your church services and plan Him out of everything else. Let him, God be God. Let Him bless you like never before. Let Him show you how great a God He is. Let Him show you how much He loves you, how much He cares about you. Don't put a limit on God. Don't limit Him, and don't try to think and know how He works because you... The minute you think you know how, I, I can tell you this. The minute you think you know how God works in something, he changes and does something entirely different. I said, okay, I thought you did this way. No, he'll do it when and whatever he wants for the purpose to come about. The final plan to come about, he will bring it about. Think about it. He did what he wanted and allowed, and Jesus willingly came down for the final plan of salvation and his will and his plan and his thing came about throughout the whole bible and when man come think about it, you come against a powerhouse i just thought of this if you would to go into a a powerhouse <laughs> it, like a nuclear plant or a big plant electrical plant and you go touch the source of that power, you cannot handle it. You cannot contain it sometimes. It's powerful. The same with God. You can never touch all that God is. 
because he's all powerful all seeing all knowing all truth all air all the names of god in the bible that's who he is god is great don't put god in a box god will do what he wants to do allow him to work in your lives in a mighty great way sometimes allow him to show you how much you care allow him to be part of your church services and he'll i mean when you do allow him to really truly have his way and let him do the service i, I know as a pastor when you truly allow god to have his way and do what he wants in any service his presence is so strong healings take place miracles take place manifestations take place he'll be there because you allow him to when you don't put yourself in a box when you don't limit him you you will allow him to do whatever he wants and he'll do anything he wants he'll he will come forth and show himself real and say wow we can go out of the services or go out of this thing or or go out of prayer or go out of our time that we spend with God and say wow I didn't realize how great and how big he can be but he, you are mighty God you are all precious all knowing all seeing all everything I'm not going to put say to yourself this morning I am not going to limit God I'm not going to say God works this way or that way Lord you do what you want in my life you do what you want in my church. You do what you want in my heart, in my family, in my home, in my job, whatever situation that you are facing. Allow God to work in it. Just give it to God and let Him do what He will because He knows what's best for your life. And don't limit Him. Don't think you can tell God how to do a job that you need done because God don't work that way. God works with people that are just allow him to be what he wants to do. Just say, Lord, I give myself away to you, to all that you are, that you can work the limitless ways that you want to work in my life, that I might have all that you have for me all that you ever could dream possible for me lord i thank you for what you're doing in my life i praise you open me up to you and i praise you for it thank you jesus